Hey everyone, welcome to a bit of Hammer Watch, and with me here I have Pat. Howdy dowdy doody do. Uh, you'll know Pat from my streams if you watch them at all. Uh, he plays Path of Exile, Risk of Rain, Planet Side, Force, whatever, everything. I don't care. This is the first Lost Play he's actually been a part of, but that's mine, so uh, welcome. Welcome to that. And uh, today we're doing uh, Hammer Watch, which is a. Uh, it's definitely an RPG. Uh, not so much. It's a little bit of a roguelike kind of game. It's got it's got some of the elements, but it doesn't have the randomness. So you kind of have to balance that out a little bit. But I picked it up at GOG, and I really liked it. Uh, it looked really fun, and then like I played it, and then we we've actually completed a run of this, and it is actually really fun. So let me go uh, host a game for us, and uh, make it private so that no one else can join. So this game has crutches and challenges. Uh, and what, what, what these mean is the challenges make the game more difficult, so, you know, you have to start with the lives that you start with. Uh, shut the fuck up, Pat. Yay! <laughs> like, like, reverse HP regen, I'm guessing, is just like... You constantly die. It is really stupid. Uh, no mana regen, which is, like, tough as hell, I can imagine. Uh, no HP pickups and a whole bunch of shit. Shared HP pool. Hot damn. Uh, then there's like crutches, which is like um, you can get infinite lives, which is what we did our first run on, which is, uh, you know, it's it made the game, I think, doable uh, for our first time, at least, because it is a very difficult game. Uh, and you also can HP regen, double damage, or double lives. We are going to actually turn on double lives, just because the game is relatively hard. We can still get killed, like we can still lose, but yeah. Uh, we'll, we'll try to make it the best we can. And the levels, uh, there's a couple of levels that they have here. They have like a defense map uh, of some sort, or a survival map, and then the old campaign, and then we're playing the new campaign. Man, another thing to note is the game also has three difficulty levels, your easy, medium, and your hard. We're not going to be doing hard, because the only thing that's harder about hard is you get less money. And that is a pain in the ass like you would not even believe. And people, they, they all do like more damage and are faster. Like it's actually more well, than that. that. No, I mean, they, between easy and medium, yeah. Between medium and hard, they do just a little bit more, but not enough that I really think that uh, it really makes it that much harder. Because even when we tried it on our own, the hard wasn't that much harder. We just literally had no money. We were just running around going from shop to shop with like a handful of shekels trying to find some upgrades and we couldn't afford anything. It was dumb. And so the classes we have here, uh, just going on to that, we got Wizard, Ranger, uh, Ranger is your bow class, that's Ranger, which actually got nerfed in this last patch. Uh, uh, we got the Warlock, which is, um, oh, you can change your color, that's kind of neat. I, I wasn't aware you could do that. Uh, Warlock <laughs> is kind of like melee, but a spellcaster, which is kind of weird. He also has a lot of You got of a poison dagger. Yeah. Oh, really? Thief, everything for the thief costs money. It's actually probably, I would, uh, in my opinion, one of the worst classes. Although he may have been buffed recently, I actually forgot in the patch notes what they did. He's a speed runner. That's his thing. Uh, Priest is basically just uh, he's a new class that uh, we were looking at him. He's got a giant railgun beam, but uh, he didn't look enticing enough for me to play, so I'm not playing him. And Paladin is what Pat's going to be playing here today. It's uh, your sword and shield uh, defensive class, and I'm playing the wizard. Uh, what, what kind of color robe should I have? Green, definitely. Green for Yoshis. Are right, you ready? Yeah, I'm pretty much as ready as I'll ever be. So, this is a game that uh, functions with the keyboard, uh, it, which is kind of a little bit odd. Uh, but it actually works out pretty well. So my attack here is, uh, by default, uh, it, it has a bit of splash damage to it, uh, which is, which is kind of nice. And I can upgrade the damage or the range a little bit later. Uh, it's the kind of game where we're, we're right now just collecting money. And the unks that you see at the top, uh, there's like a bunch of shit at the top, so you can obviously see the stats for me and Pat. Um, and this is my spell. You can see the stats for me and Pat, Pat at the bottom, but at the top there's different key types that we have because we're, we're looking for keys. It is a basically a kind of a dungeon crawler game. It's, it's a lot of fun. Uh, Think of like old school Legend of Zelda. Oh yeah. And the unks are... Uh, basically uh, the amount of lives we have. So it's a shared pool of lives. 
and so we're we're trying to obviously like you, you have to you find some as you go, uh, and they, they it's it's not that big of a deal, but it's one of those things where the game can get really difficult later, and so if you don't know what you're doing, um, it could be a problem. So I also have a little flamethrower thing. This is actually very much a fire-based class, obviously a pyro. Um, well, it's it's a wizard. What can I say? It's a very glass cannon and kind of suits my what I usually play in games, you know. And so, Pat, what are you doing there? I am stabbing shit with a sword. So up. That's so up here, there's a sorry. There's there is a crack in the wall, which is like kind of like Zelda kind of shit. And we found a secret area. And so there's a potion here, which will heal you to full health. Bat will get more out of that because he's going to be uh, in more in the combat, so he should actually get priority over those because they matter now. Uh, since we're not playing on uh, on any any pussy difficulties anymore. We're not playing on soft core. No, no, no more unlimited lives. Here's another secret up here. Now this and so place. So as I was saying, god damn it! Well, the fucking let me explain this place. So this okay. is a teleport to level three for more experience. We won't be doing it though because we want to do the beginning of the game for you guys. Anyways, go ahead, Pat. Now as I was explaining, I stab shit with a sword, and I can dash. I don't shoot fire out of my ass like Mike does, and that's that's a okay. That's all I wanted to say. What? Well, but shooting fire out of your ass is like the best part. Yeah, also, also uh, that's some rogue legacy shit. I, I fire it out of my face, so... Well, yeah, but you don't have the right, like, genetic disorder, so, you know, whatever. So the little crystal th there are mana, so we can kind of replenish our mana. We do get some passive regen, and more mana, uh, if we get it, does equal to... Uh, damn it, it's hard to aim. Uh, more mana does equal to more regen, uh, but there's really not a whole lot of other ways to passively increase in the game, uh, as far as I know. I can also kind of strafe, like you can see I'm kind of moving backwards. Pat has not mastered this art yet. Uh, now he's just showing off. Yeah, well, of course. And here making we, fun of me. And here we have a vendor coin, which uh, all it does is when we go to the vendors, everything costs a little bit less, and so we're actually seeking to uh to grab some of those and there's a there's a key up there but we can't go there yet it's actually from a stairwell there we have a nice little it's, map it's probably best to try to find as many of those coins as you can before you actually go to the vendors because you have a you have a very limited amount of money in this game well it's not that limited uh well, on the higher on hard it was yeah but it, it becomes a strat strategy kind of thing, you know. You save your money for another time. Like if you don't need an upgrade, then don't don't get it. That's all you have to do. And these guys are little slug things that that fire projectiles. Maggots. Maggots. And I'm just gonna walk towards them slowly. Now you'll notice every time I attack, I actually stop, which is kind of a big deal later, uh, or actually throughout the game. It's a. I consider this class's biggest weakness is the fact you you aren't very mobile. You're very powerful, but your abilities kind of like they they make you immobile, and it's that's actually a bigger problem than you would actually think uh, in a game like this. Right now, we're just starting it out easy, so you don't really notice it. Like everything, I'm just destroying everything. Like you see all these projectiles. That's yeah. But it's fortunate that Pat actually has a shield. Oh god. Yeah, I can't get too close to them. He has a shield, so we can actually do this kind of co-op strategy where uh, I kind of just hang up behind him. That will not work most of the time, <laughs> though. <laughs> yeah, some enemies will be kind of dicks and will try to attack me from the side, and that don't work, which is kind of sad. We missed a coin. Where? Oh, the, the stuff exactly. up there. Exactly. Stuff up there? What are you talking about? Oh, no, you picked up the coin. Oh, yeah, I know. But we, we also passed we also passed an area back there. That's what I'm saying. Let's go back. We have to explore okay. everything. Yeah. And secrets are important. And Mike sucks at finding secrets. Well, you know, that's that's up for that's why I bring in people like you. Cuz Exactly. That's uh it's not my strength. I'm not a very perceptive individual. Oh. So, Pat's been the only one taking damage so far, but that's how it's supposed to be, because I... Actually, I should mention the new patch that just came out. I used to start with 25 health, so I start with 35 now, fortunately. But it was such... We tried on, we tried this game on hard, and it was so bad. 
Because I well, everything one hit me, and so I couldn't get hit by anything. It was awful. Yeah, my got blood blasted more than once. Actually, we, we missed a door all the way at the bottom, so I kind of want to go for that now. Uh, okay. okay. There's like a vendor Now, fire. the biggest question, are we going to go for all the secrets? What kind of question is that? A, a very important one, actually. We will try. Okay, good. Because I like secrets. Yeah, no, no, we'll, we'll totally go for them. But we have okay, good. we have no way of knowing if they're like if we miss them or something. Um, that is actually very true. It, it, there's no counter on the screen. There's a death counter, so at the end we can uh, we can basically fight over who was more casual during this run. Uh oh, Pat, 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 you're being casual. No, I am the super casual. Um, the thing I hate about these these fucking crates is go eat the apples, you jerk. Uh, there's no enemies here. I'm fine. Whatever. And there's a gift, and there's also right here. And th this is right here. You can't really see it, but these are planks of wood. What purpose do they serve? We will tell you at the end. They they literally are for no reason right now. Go go go! Snack on your food. I like apples, even though I'm allergic to apples. Well, right now beggars can't be choosers. How can how can you be allergic to apples? What are you allergic to? Uh, apples and bananas. Why? I don't know. What do you, What do you mean? Why? How do you, How do you you know decide that you know I'm I'm going to be allergic to this today? That's not how it works, Mike. I just assume you're that's very how it works. intolerant of my medical disabilities. Check your privileges. <laughs> well, planks are scattered within the castle, and we're supposed to not miss any of them. So we're gonna try our best not to, although it may not be possible. But you'll see what the what purpose they serve at the end. You know, I've been really good about, like, I, I should talk about those, the, this fucking Steam sales and stuff. I've been really good. Like, most of the games I bought, I've actually tried out at least. And this is just one of the ones I really enjoyed, and the soundtrack is, I, I really like that too. Risk of Rain also had a really nice soundtrack. Motherfucking coalescence, I swear to god. <laughs> Risk, that is something that you will see as well. Uh... Vendor coins give you a price reduction in the vendors that can be seen down at the bottom. Okay. We already know about that. We've explained that to you guys. And here, and this game is also filled with things like traps. And I almost got hit by that. Like a dirty casual. And so there's uh, there's trap, there's trap different kinds of vendors in the game. So this is a vendor. This is a combo vendor. Now, you guys don't know what the combos are because we haven't explained this to you. Because we haven't gotten it yet. But it's basically killing 10 enemies in quick succe succession triggers a combo... Where by default you get some speed and some damage for a short little while, so that's really nice. Um, and then you, I can upgrade one particular aspect of it. So you can get Nova, which is like a it's like a little burst thing that kind of like fires around you. I don't know how to describe it, but it's basically garbage in my opinion. Timer makes it easier to get chain combos, and healing gives you some healing. And I'm gonna get the healing just because I that means actually a lot to me. It is amazing for this class because I have such low health that. Like, whenever I get a combo, I just have to work towards it and... Oh fuck, I got heal heals. Did you yeah. get anything there, Pop? Uh, fuck that, no. I have way too much help for the healing from the combos to be effective at all. Plus, he can eat apples. Like, I'm not gonna really take the, uh, the healing items. It's all for him. Like, the... the More or less. A, a, a spellcaster and then, like, a... Kind of like a brute force class actually really worked out, because he's in the front. And I'm kind of in the back here, and so it's a very, uh, you know... It's energetic it, is the word looking for. Yeah, yeah, like we're working as a team here, so... And it, there's going to be some situations where he's he's kind of better at dealing with uh, certain things and some situations where I'm dealing... Are we done with this floor? I, I'm guessing we are. Alright, let's go. Um, well, we have an extra key. Uh, it could be for the next floor. I, I didn't remember seeing anything. Fine, I'll we'll go down a little bit, just so I can see on my map if we did miss something. Um, no, you might be right. I didn't, no, no, definitely not. We did everything. Oh, okay. We did everything. Yep. I'll trust you. For once. For once. For once. Because that we've learned that the it's keys are actually, they're pretty plentiful. Uh, so you, there, but there's always a door for the key, you know. So we want to, we want to utilize them. 
So the stairs, everyone has to exit, and then now we're here. So one of, one of my strengths is I can just hit these guys through the walls and uh, wall hacks. Uh, yeah, this is where the key was supposed to be used. So I have to be very careful about these projectiles, they can really fucking hurt. Yeah, and I have a shield, so I don't have to. Yep, so that's, uh, you know, he's he's here for something and I'm here to range stuff. To be honest, I, I just greatly enjoy having this class because I can just kind of walk up in the face of pretty much anything and not generally give too much of a fuck. So, you know. I can splash or, damage around corners and stuff. Yeah, well, you're going to become more useful on the next floor, so you know, there's that. Spoiler alert. <laughs> Spoiler Fucking alert. Cow totem bullshit, I swear <laughs> to God. <laughs> I'm surprised they'll figure that... it out. They don't know what we're talking about, but they'll know. God damn will they know. I'm surprised that none of these uh, crates have had a, a bomb in them. Which is which was my greatest Okay, Pat has a combo there, and that's what it Whee! does. I don't have any combo upgrades, I just have the combo base thing, so it doesn't really even matter for me. Oh, okay, let's just keep going. It, yeah, no, that, don't worry about it. We need to head down this way. Well, yep. These floors also become significantly more intricate and bullshitty as time passes, too. But it's it's like an exploration game. Like, it's, it's actually a lot of fun just to kind of explore the floors and find the secrets and stuff. Oh, I got hit by something. I forgot I don't have to I don't have to fucking mash it anymore. But I do, and which is a sad thing. Cause my fucking attack time is based on how fast I can click. So it can be like doop 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 doop. Uh, let, let me try and get a combo off these bats. Or I can't. There's not enough of them. There we go, one sec. And there you go. That's my healing. So I'm I'm getting a passive health regen and that's it. I don't have to use any of the items. Just because I, we kind of just set that up, Pat didn't attack, and uh, it let me uh, basically get some free heals. We want to see what's it only up. Really, it only really worked on the swarms of enemies, like the bats, though. Do we actually want to go here? Let's see Let's see what's here. Uh, I think oh. we're back to the first floor, so yeah, probably. Yeah. We'll just and see what's over we here. We did choose the double lives crunch, and, you know, it, we have ten lives right now. We started with eight. And it may seem like that may have been a bit much, but things will drastically get tougher later. Uh, I get better. Uh, I would like to get health, but I can't. Uh, I don't I have can. enough money. Health is really useful it, for me. Uh, it also makes it kind of easier that uh, in the last patch, which came l literally two days ago, I actually made this level easier. So, which that, you know, go figure. That was most fortunate. Oh god, I hate that guy. The spiky, the spiky beetles are the worst, ever. Well, that's a good thing they don't reflect. I forgot how much my my thing was gonna cost, but I want to go back to that floor real soon. What floor? The the one where we got the health. You just got the health upgrade because I I couldn't afford it. Oh, uh, uh, I think it would. I think the health for me was seven hundred something, and the mana yeah. was five hundred something. Yeah, that's that's what it was for me here too. When I get to eight hundred, okay, so I can pretty much go back there. Because I, I want to not die. It's a nice thing. Oh, we got our first silver key there. Usually when the cool. keys are like silver or something, they actually matter. Like they're they're for something... Uh, like some progression area, you know. The bronze keys like are just a shop. Dozen. Yeah, that too. Bronze are just going to be for random... Like, like there could have been a bronze door here. That, that, that could have been a thing. Silver keys can be for, like, shops and other miscellaneous bullshit. And gold keys are rare as all holy balls and are usually used for main, like, the main progression. Pretty much. They, they get pretty ridiculous with the bronze keys, though, later. Alright, um... I, I want to go get my health back. And you know what, I, I really don't think we can, that these floors connect, to be honest. Or maybe they do. Oh, no, they do. You can actually see Yeah, they do. There. There was a, there's a way up there. Okay. I, I just noticed that. Yeah. Alright, let's just go back here. I need health. Alright, so I go here and I get my first health upgrade. Health pool one. The mana the mana can wait a little bit because obviously I have this stupid flamethrower ability, which is actually not terribly 
the best. It's it's okay. It's very situational though. My main attack, I think, is honestly the more powerful thing. Uh, there's some bats in here. No, there's actually stuff down there. Oh no, I threw the door. Never mind. I don't care. Oh, you don't care about the door? No. Well, oh, we've already been there, and I can't attack through gates because I have a piddly ass sword. You can just ask them to get closer. I just kind of like standing in front of those. Don't we all? Not gonna lie to you here. Oh, yeah, I got hit by one one of those things. But luckily, yeah, you I have a health upgrade, so it doesn't matter. Yep. Much more of a better. Oh god, bomb! I did it. Finally. And you did not die. No. I don't think I, I I can't die in one hit by those on this difficulty. I'm pretty sure. Uh, could have fooled me. Okay. Well, yeah. Now we're done. Now we're done here. We gotta go. Well, we, now we I gotta think go we can around. go around the other way. Yeah. 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 Do so, like a Kirby thing. Literally, we're so close to getting that, and we'll see. We'll we'll show you what that thing is down there later. What you just saw there. I could buy. I don't need an apple. Fuck that. Fuck your apples. I don't need apple. your apples. Mine, do you not like apples? Well, they say, you know what they say, Dr. Day keeps, uh, I don't know, Hitler away. A Dr. A Day keeps the apples away? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> you know what it meant. No, I, I really don't think I do, to be honest. It's a new saying. Try, it'll catch it's on. A, oh, okay. Well, if you say so, Mike, I'll trust you on this one. We, for uh, now. I, I don't think we've explained these maggot things. Uh, that's like a queen or something, and it, uh, well, not the queen. Or it's a giant cocoon. It's a cocoon, and it infinitely spawns them, so we have to take it out, like, relatively fast. It could either be, like, you know, one of us distracts the, the cocoon or whatever, while the other one, uh, basically just takes out the, the queen. It, it's, it's, you guys tried that there for a little bit, whoops. And here I am attacking in all kinds of directions. Wow, <laughs> almost got hit there. Oh god, no, no, okay, good. No, no, I almost got hit once. Dude, it matters to me a lot. I, I can see that. How, how? I think one of the biggest things that this game does not have that your traditional modern day RPGs have, and I think I just said that in the most pretentious way possible, <laughs> is you don't actually get experience from killing enemies. Like, that is, that is a no-go on that one. You, you kill the enemies to progress. Yeah. That's that's basically what the enemy killing is for. In reality, we don't have to kill a single enemy if we really didn't give a shit. But we do, and killing is fun. You heard it here, folks. And there, there, there's an LMP bug, which uh, turns into actually five projectiles. It turns into GMP. It's it's path projectile jokes. It's a uh, lesser multiple projectiles, which is it normally splits into three. Mike, it's not a joke if you explain it. Fuck you. Let the let the people who know what it means be pretentious oh and be like, ha oh, ha, I get to that joke. And let the people who don't just wonder and be confused. I, I got hit really nastily there, actually. Oh well. Alright, so these buttons uh, toggle the spikes, and we gotta find our way around. It's basically like, uh... Wait, stop. 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 Thank you. There. Okay, I can continue. Yep. And here we go. A 1-up, which actually equates to two 1-ups. And... I'm gonna come down here. And, get, and pick up all this crap before Pat sees. Haha, uh -huh, Every, everything is shared. Is there steak? I want steak. No, fuck steak. Mm. Actually, no, steak is pretty good. Yeah, no, fuck, oh, yeah. I love steak. No, you didn't let me get a combo, you jerk. I wonder what's over- oh, god damn it. You, you, come on, you, you gotta let people be confused. They're, I think, I think they're we could just make it anyways. stand there and be like, "Huh, there seems like there should be a secret here." The, the way mean, the way you know is there's a a little hole there with eyes peeking out, and then you know you go through there. That's how we know. 